Okay, well, here we are outside on our test run. The property uh, slopes, by the way. Right now, that would be heading downhill. And that carport to the right is uphill. But it also slopes away from the camera. So now he's walking backwards uphill. Basically, I was doing a reverse turn to uh, get heading down the driveway, down the carport. And that buzz sound you hear is the linear actuator turning the robot. Okay, here we are now. Basically heading downhill and leaning uh, to the left because the property slopes that way. I was a little concerned and wanting to know uh, how the robot would handle being leaned. Uh, I knew it did fine on a level surface, but I had never had it outside where the ground is uh, lumpy, unsmooth, and angling at many different angles. Did pretty good. Well, I mean, other than not having enough horsepower, the one-eighth horsepower just isn't enough. If it had been, I wouldn't have had to gear it down you know, by half, and uh, the robot would have walked twice as fast, which would have been quite nice. It's a much uh, nicer gait in reverse. The arc of the feet, the curvature. He's smoking <laughs> now, John. Is he supposed to? Okay. <laughs> the, the wife just figured out that I'd put a smoker in the robot. She thought maybe it was burning up. Okay, now come forward again. I actually reach up and turn the smoker off right here. Uh huh. I think she wanted to walk towards the camera smoking, but I wasn't thinking in the same channel as hers. Well, by the time it gets up to the camera, the smoker shut down. Okay, now we'll cut to where I had her hold the camera so you could actually see the robot pivot, see how the linear actuator turns. I'm going to walk backwards, <coughs> and I'm turning the robot to the left. I'm going to get it angled so I can drive it up into the carport, which is uh, all uphill. Very steep, actually. Okay, and now turn it. We'll go forward. So all in all, it worked pretty good. If I just could have had a quarter or a half horse uh, DC motor instead of the one eighth horsepower, I would have been uh, much happier with the speed and power. But gearhead motors are very expensive.